The Citroën DS, known for many things, like its elegant design and saving the life of French President Charles de Gaulle during an attempted assassination. But one of its most notable is its clever hydropneumatic suspension, and because of it, to this very day, the DS is considered to be one of the most comfortable cars ever built. The Citroen DS suspension works like this. A belt-driven 7-piston hydraulic pump is powered by the engine. This pump produces a constant pressure of LHM. This stands for Liquide Hydraulique Minérale. The fluid is engaged and disengaged by a solenoid-operated clutch. There's a reservoir sphere where the hydraulic fluid is stored under pressure. This is connected to the actual suspension by having every suspension arm attached to a pushrod with a sphere on one end as well as a piston on the other, allowing it all to move in a cylinder. Fluid passes from the sphere and into the cylinder which depends on the position of the height control device. Pressurized nitrogen gas in one half of the sphere provides the springing effect, while a shock absorber effect is created by having a restriction between the cylinder and the sphere. For reference, cars with the more traditional suspension setup have springs with dampers which prevent the car from bouncing around like a lowrider after going over every minute dip and bump in the road. The Citroen does away with this completely. The advantage of this system is that while cornering, cars tend to lean to one side, which can be uncomfortable for some. The hydropneumatic suspension keeps everything level. It pumps hydraulic fluid under pressure to whichever corner is being pressed down, which fills the reservoir and lifts the suspension back up. And if the suspension is too high, the valve releases pressure back to the reservoir and lowers it. Inside the car there is a dashboard lever that allows the position of the valves to be manually adjusted in order to raise and lower the car. The earliest version of this system was used in the Traction Avant and was the idea of Citroen employee Paul Mage during World War II. But it wasn't until 1955 when Citroen launched the DS that we saw it reach its full potential. This genius and years ahead of its time system was so good that it was used under license by, drumroll please, Rolls-Royce on the Silver Shadow. It was so good that it got the French and the English to collaborate. Citroen continued their use of hydropneumatic suspension throughout the decades in their flagship cars, until 2017, when they discontinued the C5 Exclusive, which, as of the making of this video, was the last modern Citroen to use hydropneumatic suspension. And the reason for discontinuing it is pretty obvious. Cost, complexity, and reliability. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick little look at Citroen's fascinating hydropneumatic suspension. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and you know what? If this video gets a thousand likes and 20,000 views, I will re-record the entirety of this video completely spoken in French by me. Jeremy Clarkson